changes are brewing at Oak Street Brewery this summer. The local spot is now the self-proclaimed first independent distributor of their craft beers in the state. And the owner says this opens a door of possibilities to collaborate with neighboring small businesses. And the only way for breweries to expand is to get distribution. Oak Street Brewery's hopes to grow beyond its storefront were falling flat without a special permit from the state, allowing it to distribute kegs of its brews without a middleman. Distributors didn't want to deal with us. We're too small. After many trips to Baton Rouge and an application process spanning months, Oak Street Brewery became the first in the state permitted for self-distribution of its products. So we're going to lock in our, our wholesale pricing and we're gonna start with our local bars and restaurants right here in the neighborhood. Kevin Grenet says servicing neighboring businesses first fits with the brewery's philosophy. We're supported mostly by our local community here in the uh, Carrollton River Bend and we get tourists because they go down the, the streetcar line. There's still more work to be done before the deals can be finalized in the neighborhood. Because they've got um, Juan's Flying Burrito is local. They don't have taps. They can only do cans, so I might do a small base canning just so we can get in some of our local restaurants that don't have taps. And the neighborly love is reciprocated. Drop off menus at his brewery and he brings stuff over here for us to kind of share with that. Eric Roberts keeps the burritos flying at Juan's. He says he definitely sees a market for what Grenet is trying to start. We carry some like Urban South beer here and it, and it moves better than um, than some of the more nation national brands do. Once you know beer, you know the styles and categories, um, you just pick and choose. Grenet looks to a future of specialty brewing to flex his creativity. He's already taking some fall inspiration in his recipe building. Within the next four weeks of pumpkin spice beer for we're going into Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. It's the pump. I mean, even Starbucks brought out their pumpkin spice latte again. With a new permit, Grenet says he's looking into even more partnerships, including free delivery of late night food from his partnering restaurant.